Um, you guys are gonna have to let me know how uh, the game sounds, how the audio sounds, because I can fix it in post! Exclamation point more llama if you guys aren't already subbed. If you miss anything and you want to see everything, that's where you can go. But you guys are gonna have to let me know how it sounds and everything. It should- it should launch. Hello? There it is. There it is. Okay, that worked. Alright, we seem to be good. Um, do you guys know where a good place for me to be would- would- would be? Like, to avoid, um, covering up things? I would assume that, like, the middle left over here where I'm at already is probably a good spot. Um, maybe on the right side in the middle would also probably be a good spot. If you guys have any suggestions, though, let me know. Epilepsy warning, by the way. Can you guys hear that? Might be a little loud. A little loud for me. I'm so excited to play this game, you have no idea. I've had access to it since, uh... I think yesterday. And, uh... I'll tell you what, man. I've been so just ready to play. Perfect. Perfect. We're good to go. Oh yeah, I bought the game, so that means I'm a lot- I'm a lot of different things. Including a wizard. Yeah, I'll turn this down a little bit so the music's not absolutely destroying your ears the whole time. Um, I'm gonna move myself down just a little bit, just to start. We'll start there. Um, just so you guys know, I will most likely be put into Ravenclaw. That'll be the house that I'll go into. Um, and you guys will have to let me know if you Menu want me to reader. do another character. Off. Press on space stream. bar to uh, toggle. No. No, please, God, no. Um, okay, I shouldn't need any of these. These are just accessibility settings. Can I- are there subtitles here? Or no? No, don't need no audio visualizer. Will it tell me text size? How big it is? Yeah, I read that. Alright, so here, I already linked my Warner Brothers account. And the Wizarding World tests that you can take. Um, so as you can see right here, Ravenclaw is my house. Uh, what it doesn't tell you is what my Patronus is. My Patronus is a husky, and my wand is a phoenix feather core. Uh, it's vine and ten and three quarter inches. So, we're big boy. Giggity. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Audio. Here we go. There's no master volume. Okay. We do that. Okay. I gotta click to tab back in. Oh, okay. Let's- let's do- let's do... Let's do something like that. We'll start there. Display subtitles, yes. Home cinema? We'll go headphones since that's the setup that we're in. Oh, show secondary? 
on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. I love some... Sometimes it's really nice to have secondary vines. Um... Oh. Look at that. Look at that. We're gonna spoil some stuff if we keep going. Um... Okay, so everything seems to be pretty good. Um, does everything sound all right to you guys? Frame rate, can we go up to 144? V-Sync on, so no screen tearing, hopefully. Motion blur, we'll take that off. Depth of field on. Yeah, we'll do that as well. Film grain, we can do a little bit of film, fi film grain. Field of view to wide, oh, I heard about this. I don't know what- what do these numbers mean, Mason? I mean, we're in third person, so I don't think it's gonna matter. Can I just... Plus one, whatever. Okay, alright, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Here we go. It's time. We gotta create our character, first of all. That's number one. We're gonna create the legendary Billy Hope. So barely visible. Right there. I can barely see that. Um, and this game takes place in like the 1890s. So it's perfect time for us to create Billy Hope because Red Dead Redemption 2 online is like 1898 or something like that. And Billy Hope. Boom, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, perfect timing. Okay, so we've got our letter here. The Witchcraft School of Wizardry, Hogwarts. We're pleased to inform you that you've been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on 1st September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree of the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of school. Fifth year will probably be about 15, I would say somewhere around there. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elazar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor M. Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. It's time to create our boy. It's time. That did not work. Hold on. I need that hotkey to work. Okay. Um. Okay. Presets. I don't know that it necessarily matters. I, so I pondered for a while yesterday, did I want to create Billy Hope or did I want to create Memphis Taylor? I really didn't know which of the two characters I wanted to create for this. Um, so I think we're going to do Billy. Um, which, because of Billy's, the idea, the concept that I had behind that character makes sense for England. So we're going to, which, which, which would be a good baseline to start with. Maybe this one. Might be that one, actually. And change the hair and the color, maybe. Um, I think we're gonna do this one if we can change the eyes. Oh, he's very freckleish. Face shape. No, Billy's got Billy's got like a long face. Not a, not a very wide. More more not super narrow, but it's 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 long and narrow. Kind of like this one. The cheeks are a little wide for that. So, so this one or this one? I think this one because the cheekbones aren't out as much. 
Music, music is so loud to me. Wow, they got so many different. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, we're, we're gonna go there. We're gonna go with that one. Oh, okay, okay. That changes a lot, actually. I like that one. Um, but we're gonna go back. Hairstyle, um, hair color, um, not black. Oh, we've got so many different hair colors to choose from. Okay. We can get fancy with it if we really want to. We're not gonna. We're gonna stay plain Jane here. And by the way, for anybody watching this on the More Llama channel, um, I'll, I, I'll see if I can put timestamps on. If I can't put the little chapters, I'll put a timestamp on for when we're done. Do I want red in it? No, it's more of that color, I think, is how we normally do it. All right, do we got like a swept back hairstyle? Yo, this reminds me of my boy Mark. Closer, if any of you guys know who that is. His hairstyle, if you kind of trimmed the sides a little bit more and then blonde on top, that's Mark. Uh, that's kind of, except Billy has a more uh, close shaved side look. So it's more, more like this, more like an undercut. If you guys, I, I'm talking as if you guys have never seen uh, me create the character. I like this hairstyle actually a lot. Um, if you guys have never seen me, uh, create Billy before. Oh, if that one always looks nice. When it, when the braids are really tight like that. I'm getting into the long hairstyles. It's a short one. The buzz cut. That's a good one, too. Okay, um, I think... I think this one's our winner. Where was I on February 13th? <laughs> I wonder if he's going to hit his goal of uh, the streams for February 13th. Right, can we change the eyes here? Uh, chat, how difficult is this game, by the way? Am I going to be able to play on hard mode and actually be able to play the game? I'm a sucker for light colored eyes. So I'm thinking... one of these one of those three nah no just go normal you don't think I can handle hard mode as much of a story teller as I am with these story games, it's probably better for me to go normal. No, I don't want I don't want the straight ones. I want I want I want the eyebrows to be able to tell some story, but I don't want it to be too over the top. So I, I kinda like these. I feel like those are a little too thin. Corners are too sharp. Too fluffy. Too thin. Those aren't bad either. Maybe a little too in. Now they're not as in as those. So we might go with that one. So can I not sculpt the face? Is 
Is face shape the best that we got? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. None of these are really calling to me now that I've kind of created uh, Billy. What would a young Billy look like? I don't think this is it. Maybe, maybe, if it if it was a little bit longer. I think a part of what makes Billy Billy is his beard too, because his beard accents his long jaw. So I'm trying to picture him with that beard, you know. And I don't think it's that one. I'm thinking it might be this one. I'm thinking it might be two. Like, I like the eyes on this one with, like, this, this one. One? It might be one. I don't know. It'll, it, I'm gonna keep cycling through and one of them will hit me. I'm favoring one and two right now, though. I like that one, too. I think we're gonna go with this one. I think this is the one that's calling to me here. He's a little bit of a pretty boy, huh? <laughs> He's a little bit of a pretty boy. I think that has to do with his, um... The, the complexion that I chose for him. Okay. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That's very bassy in my ears. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Okay, so... A few Masculine cobwebs and feminine. some dust. Got it. Nothing to be concerned about. That was quite... I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Sounds like a robot. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. That was quite something. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. They all sound robotic, except for the the center one. Uh, this choice will determine your player's characters. Well, we're we're a wizard, duh. Um, and then you, you you think normal? You think normal's the way to go for me? You think that's the better option? I mean, I don't know anything about it, so I'll be. I I kind of have to just trust what you guys what you guys think would be best for me. And if that's normal, then that's what we're going to do. Hi, puppy. Hello, puppy. I think we're, t I think we're ready. I think we're set. We finally, we got, we got our boy Billy Hope created. Do I easily get frustrated? Um, no, but I, I can find myself getting frustrated by not progressing when I'm trying to progress in a story format, though. I think it's safe to just go normal. I, I think it's a safe bet to just go normal, so we'll do that. It's time. Oh, don't we look magical? Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! 
glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I'd been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait! We do...
all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. It's time. We're here. We're in it! Wow, look at that! That looks incredible. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think- The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Wow, the, uh... Mind your step. The cuts between... Where do you support... Hold, hold on, hold, hold. Wow, that took a long time. Okay, I thought I broke the game. Um, we're gonna turn this down some more. Or like, we're gonna turn this down a lot more. We'll try something like that. Um, wow, the transition from like cutscene to not is crazy. A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. <laughs> Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah. That's the path down below. This way. Oh, down that way? Oh! That almost took me out, man. But, sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. A barrier. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Oh, we got it. Excellent. Uh, use your camera to select an active target. Is it the center of my camera? I would assume. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to feel about it. Oh, God. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your wand works improving with every cast. Thank yeah. you, sir. 
100% accuracy. Kabow! Heck, you birds. Kabow! Ah, up there. Isn't that where we came from? Oh, up here, like right here. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I found something. We got 50 coins. I don't know what we're gonna spend on the coins, but we got 50 coins. We're close now. It's just ahead. Oh, there it is. Yes. The path across. Steady yourself. Repair. Well, that was slick. Almost there. I mean, we're here. But where is Why here? What is that? Built this here. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Well, first of all, that cup. Uh, the minimap shows your surroundings with you as the purple arrow in the middle. This golden symbol is your current objective. Press and hold V to toggle quest objective details. Oh, it just tells you more. Okay. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Is there anything else that looks weird and out of place here? The minimap shows a little bit of a loop around here. Professor, what is this? This statue. This may have been his home. And well, we're gonna go this way. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? Well, let's find out. What's this? Oh, I was gonna. Professor blast Fig. It. What? I'm gonna touch it. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna blast it. Hey, yeah! I, I, I tried to blast it. It didn't work, Fig. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. We're special. Touch it. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. He's sleeping. Oi, wakey, wakey, hands off, snakey. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> uh, where are we here? <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? 
Hmm? Your wife's portkey. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. After you. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many volts are there in Gringotts? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. The glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. I'm not ready. Hold on one second. Okay. Uh, steady your wand with your mouse. Okay, I see, I see. And guide it along the symbol path to learn the spell.
Okay, that wasn't too bad. We're learning. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. D my keyboard reacts to this. A this door. is so cool. Well, when I do Revelio, my keyboard lights through. Is that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. I've got this. Stand back, Professor. I touched it. Lumos. Uh-oh. What's happening? This is no ordinary vault. I you think? We will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. I see there will be shadows. No if things go poorly, not out of Gringotts. I see shadows of, I don't know, boxes maybe or so. I see there's something right there. There's something. Oh, those are other pillars, I think. Yeah, okay, so I'm seeing shadows of other pillars. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on, on the, the floor. floor. Over here, Professor. Oh. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? He can't see through the I stuff like we can. I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Right here. Revelio. I presume oh. this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Well, I don't know how to do it. Oh, we're about we're about to find out. We got it. We got two now. Uh, you've acquired the one lighting charm, Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Tap one to cast or extinguish Lumos. Lumos. Well yeah. done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It and does follow the light. He's standing up too. Oh, he blocked it for me. Well, I need him to get to me. There we go. We got him. Stay close. Went dark again. Lumos. Professor. Professor Fig. Professor, where are you? This Professor. Isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? Okay, I, I didn't know if that was be leading me somewhere. Yeah. I didn't know if that was just the direction I was going or the direction I was supposed to go in. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Touch it. 
There's three of them. Go to this one. Lumos. Oh, I gotta wait. How do I? Oh, Revelio. this key. I suppose I'm yeah. on my own this time. Lumos. Is is the... oh. Uh oh. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Was I supposed to? Oh god. I don't know if I was supposed to activate them all at the same time or not. Okay, very, very basic combat. Hold Q during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack. Stunned enemies take extra damage. So if we hold Q, we can stun targets. Oh, snap. Protego, stupefy. Oh, I tried to like dodge roll. Didn't work. I didn't stun him. Got it. I got it. I understand. We only took one hit because I was out of habit, almost trying to dodge Lumos. roll. Sprint. Oh, we're cooking now. We've seen these gates before. Is the professor in there? Professor? What is this? Is this the thing that I put my face in to, to see stuff? did you what is this place I don't know but I found this floating above that basin that is no mere basin that is a pensive for viewing memories I wonder Follow my lead. All is in place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That 
that's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both, wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Title screen! It was the title screen! We made it!
Yo, Kong, you probably would have liked the, uh, the special edition of the game. Give you the dark arts stuff. You probably would have really liked that. Did we break? Oh, no, okay. You aren't about that dark arts life? Nah, I was just meaning, like, the aesthetic of it, you know? The way that it looks. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain... expectations. Can't wait to start classes! I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Oh, yeah, we're gonna accept that house, duh. You belong in Ravenclaw! Uh, 
Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw Common Room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks Look like at all of gone. the blue. Better head to the common room. Look at all of the blue. I would. Just, I want to look around, man. Dude, I'm so bummed about Quidditch too. I would have loved to have been out there playing Quidditch. Revelio. See if I can find any little specials. 1612 we're so for those of you that don't know we're in the late 1800s presumably about 1890 ish somewhere around there um so 1612 big difference yo what's wrong with my hood my hood's a little curled Just oh is this at the right moment i suppose some introductions are in order what are you doing what is this guy doing? One moment. Watch this. Is that a stink bomb? What is this? Threw a dumb bomb. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Well. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm glad to we're be not, here. We're not nervous. For we're not nervous. Start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb. And I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bong back to me. Nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Everett, you were two feet away when you threw that. You think that the Ravenclaws have the worst Quidditch team? I feel like... 
Hufflepuffs would have the worst. I feel like Ravenclaws would be second. Must be different starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Uh, I mean, yeah, it is a little different. Why? Wait, I, I see you over there. All right, who's this? Not sure, this is the right spot. An apple. Where'd the red one come from? We had an apple. An apple a day. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory, it seems to know a lot about practical magic. <laughs> yeah, he's smart. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Uh... Is it common ask, practice we'll ask a couple of questions. their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect. Interesting. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your ditany. Thank you. And good luck to you, too, on your first day. I mean, you know, like, you have, like, a each houses kind of got their own like unique thing but i mean people are unique in their own right so uh you know you could have somebody from one house that you know is you know like a ravenclaw who's like a nerd for knowledge likes a lot of knowledge but can also be like athletic right you know deep breath or it can also be adventurous doesn't necessarily restrict them you know why hello would you like to take a look Sure. Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. No, it's no, nice to meet definitely you, wouldn't. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I'm afraid I'm not much for memorizing constellations. Enough to worry about on the ground. Well, you Numbers. should know that all fifth years must take astronomy. However, I think you will feel differently after one night up on the tower. A quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. Right. Hey there. Stars are cool and all, but like learning about them? Nah. You had best not keep her waiting. What is this? There's the stink bomb. Wow. This is so cool. There's a harp. The music is very nice. That's a cool statue, bro. Oh, I didn't even see that it points to where we need to go on the mini map. Oh, uh, real quick. Let me move 
up just a little bit so you guys can see what the waypoint marker thing says. Professor Weasley. Good Hi. morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You bet. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, yep. your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. A book. Here you are. As long as there's no cat with it, I'm good. Whoa. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me, and we shall put it to the test. Okay. Fifth year's not the last year, this right? Way. Don't they have like seven the or guide eight years? Will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I gotta spin everything I walk past. It's seven years. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Is he watching us? He is watching us. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust? Revelio. See what details the field guide can provide. Oh. Ravenclaw bust. This bust created in honor of Ravenclaw House resides in the lofty Ravenclaw Tower. Well, that's not much, but okay. You've unlocked a field wait, field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appear here. Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. So that's what's right above us up here. Uh, this is your wizarding level XP. Uh, oh, sorry. There's a period there. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Selecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete, from appearances to critical upgrades. So we can get some glasses. Like two field guide pages in Hogwarts. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. I mean, I guess you could run around and just revelio on everything. Like no there could be something right here. To oh, there is stuff. Oh, it kind of shows you a lot of stuff, huh? I thought it was going to be a lot closer. Huh. There's a lot of stuff there. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. I said Hogwarts at the bottom. Ah, good timing. 
perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Okay. Open it up and find Central Hall. Uh, you've discovered a flu... Oh, that was the thing that was up in the common room. Fast travel points. You can open the map and fast travel. Okay. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms, and the Great Hall. Select the Grand Staircase region to continue. That's where we're at. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Why would they show you where there are undiscovered flames, though? The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. So they've got the Quidditch arena over there, but they've got nothing that involves Quidditch? Weird. Select the library annex uh, region to continue. That's this one. Uh, Professor Weasley has unlocked a central hall flu flame for you. Use A and D to rotate the map and fast travel to the central. Oh, I see. And then spacebar to travel. DLC, perhaps? Uh, I don't know. I, I've kept myself in the dark for this game, so I have no idea. No, no clue as to what might be an addition to the game or non-addition to the game. I don't like the loading bar or the loading thing. Like, they always give you, games give you something animated, but the way that it's like, I don't know, it's really janky. I don't like it. I can't tell if, like, my game is struggling to load or, you know, which it does seem like it is struggling to load a little bit. Caps lock. Target lock is an effective tool against an enemy you want to combo or otherwise find difficult to track. Okay, so you can lock onto targets, which is we were not doing that before when they were doing uh, giving us the little tutorial. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. Okay. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Um, oh, I think Thank we're you, good, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh... We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. There's no Ended reason for us to lie. exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Yep. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic it seems hmm well i'm just glad you both arrived in one piece perfectly good boats and carriages to hogwarts and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon 
I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. There's yes, so professor. much that they, they throw Come at find you. find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Talk to Professor Fig. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. You can track available quests from the map. Um, okay, that symbol represents main quests. Completing main quests will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Some quests are locked by a spell and or level requirement. In these cases, you will need to... In the, English is hard. In these cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or quest rewards. Uh, track a quest. Which one do we want to do? Leviosa or Akio? Uh, let's do, let's do the dark arts class. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Fair enough. All right. Well, that was a lot of stuff thrown at us, but we but we made it. Cast Charmed Compass? The Charmed Compass will lead you to anything that you're tracking. Okay, okay, okay. wonder if I could transfer to Ilvermorny and come back when he's gone. Does Professor Black have children of his own? Um, don't we already know what all of those are? Oh, what is this? This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. A puzzle? Let's do it. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm are you going to stream this, Kong? Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Lenora. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I don't know what those mean. I never mean. noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Are there other paintings Are there like other this? empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. 
If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Okay. Revelio. Oh, it's whispering sweet nothings. All right, so I can't really interact with it. Lumos. Never mind. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Okay, there's a staircase on the left. And then I can't quite tell what that is on the right. I mean, there's some sort of like statue shelf. Oh, there's, it's a man. The large man. With maybe that's by our charms class. Oh, what's at the top there? There's something up at the top. A doorway, maybe? With some sort of symbol. It almost looks like a potion. It kind of looks like this staircase. So it would almost be like right here. What? I was asking if, um, if you're going to be streaming this game. I was talking about this yesterday that I've said I know so many people that are playing this game and everybody's story is so different you know like obviously I haven't been paying attention to anybody that's been playing the game just seeing all their characters everybody's just so different which is so cool because it really didn't seem like that the customization was that expansive I want to look at this how cool is this Oh, it sounds so good, too. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. It talked to me. What is this? Can I interact with you? This looks like the location from the painting. Oh, it is. What could be so special about it? What is this, though? Revelio. I can't really interact with that. Maybe that's uh, for a, a later time. What? Are, what are you? There's so many things. Nice. We got a flu flame. Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Gotta carry him back. Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Is that her right there? Hey, Lenora, come down here! Oh. That's two. We've unlocked uh, the glasses now. I did the Lenora, thing. I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? Oh, I'll try to shoot the paper down. <laughs> I'm not telling. No. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. Oh, yes. Yeah, so you close. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. We gotta do it. I should have seen that. Like a moth to a frame versus a, f a flame. Oh, we're level two! That was a side quest. <laughs> sorry, sorry. My bad. Hey, that's one of the things. So it's it's this guy in 20, 21, um, 11, 21, 17. Hmm. We might have to come back to that at a later date. We might not have the ability to complete that. Oh, I can see myself getting lost in this... Just world. Okay. Um, we need to go to class. So let's go to class.
Defense against the Dark Arts. That one. And then our compass leads us. Rainy. Oh, my friend. <laughs> you misbehaving little toad. Your father and I did not. <laughs> what is? Oh, she's being yelled at. <laughs> what is going on here? Who are you? All right. Anyway, <laughs> Peeves is his name. Hold on, we gotta spin everything. He's a juggler. The class. Oh, hold on. How nice to see you, my young friend. Quest begin. Get me in there. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. Well, I don't even know how to how to do this. Okay. Uh, steady your wand. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just going to explain that every time. Got it. Oh. Levioso. That's number three. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. We've got this. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Levioso. Good. Now, the well done. Very good. But, the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel, using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This should be... Levioso. Good form. I know. Gotcha. Sucker. This can't be your first duel. Let's Levioso Protego. Boy, I thought he was gonna get me. Only all of my students for this event. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I 
I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Yeah! That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. We absolutely clapped him. Oh, hey there. Who you are you? You killed Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Yeah, and I clapped him too. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. That's fair, Everett. Oh, what was that? There was something over here. Revelio. Level 2 lock? Or is that 11? I think it's 11, because I am level 2. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Well, yeah. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Mm-hmm. Hi, right, Sebastian. Nice work. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. I thought there was like a... Oh, I think it's above me, the chest. Okay. What you got for me? I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Perhaps it wasn't. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Yeah. Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Oh, really? Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. This is my Gryffindor Excellent. coming out. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance, if you're interested. Sounds like Till he underestimated time. me. Till next time, friend. I'm a first class student. Let's go. Oh, look at all that XP we got. Push him over. Carrying his, he's carrying a bunch of stuff. Push him over. What is he carrying? Papers. Scrolls. He was pretty nice to be a Slytherin, wasn't he? Um, okay, well... So we've got uh, the other class to do, and then we got to go see. We got side quests available now. Okay. Wait, they didn't tell us anything about the South Wing, did they? Um, challenges. Collect eight field guide pages in Hogwarts. So that'll give us the gloves. Oh, we got to claim that. Everything else is locked. Collection. Cosmetics. What is this? Uh, for those with poise refinement, uh, solving mystery of empty painting. Okay. House fanatic school robe. And then this is the stuff that we got at the beginning. Okay. 
complete two main story quests. So we got some gloves. Complete four and we get a legendary cape. Complete three and we get more glass. My glasses. I can't see without my glasses. Wait, did that go up to... Oh, it did. Okay, it's because we, we got those. Got, got it. So it goes there. Revealio pages. That's the, yeah, the Ravenclaw bust that we got. And then it didn't look like we have anything else. Gear. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Here, I'll get out of the way so you guys can see everything. Handwear. Black leather gloves. Oh, we can destroy them. Cell value is 30 gold. We have 215 health, no defense, and no offense. Oh, yeah, those are slick. Neckwear? What is this? It has no magical properties. Looks terrible. Oh, we can wear the hood up or down? Wait, what does change appearance mean? Oh, there's our fanatic. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So those are the two that we got. Got it. Um, I'll be honest. I kind of like the black robe. The black robe looks nice. The fanatic one obviously also looks nice. Outfits? What is this? Oh, nice. Let's go. Our long johns. You love to see it. So it doesn't look like we have anything that is... Oh, a dark flat cap? Bet. Perfect time. Then we got the normal glasses. The normal round glasses. The flat cap, definitely. So can we wear the hood up and... No, we can't. We can't do both. Dang. We gotta wear the flat cap, man. How does our... Ooh. So no robe. The robe looks nice, though. I mean, the no robe also looks pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Wait, how do we... How do we switch out... Oh, it's under change appearance. Oh, so here's where all the other stuff is. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so we gotta take the robe off to see what's underneath then, right? Yeah, like that. I understand how this works. So change appearance takes you to a whole different thing. School vest uniform. Stylish. And then the perfect vest. Oh, this one's definitely better. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. But, will it look better with this? Oh, you can't really see it. Yeah. We're pimping. Room upgrades? Inventory. What is inventory? Okay. So, it didn't look like we have anything. Collection, we already looked at that. Challenges, we looked at that. And then quests. Okay, so a normal quest menu, it looks like. At the secret dueling club. All right, all right, all right. Well, let's uh, let's keep tracking our main quests. Cool, cool stuff, cool stuff. All right. Um, we gotta go up. Frames, please. Oh, nice! Revelio. The ground was eating me for a second. To charms class we go. How do we go up? What the heck? What is this? Kitty! I hate cats. I don't hate cats, but... 
Star. Excuse me. Out the way. Places to go, people to see. We're gonna keep going. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Alright, so we're here. Ready for class. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Here we go. Steady your wand and guide it along. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Let's steal a book. Akio. Boom. My book. That is not bad. You are a I got swift it. learner. I see a lot of potential. But remember, potential is nothing without practice. Fair. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. We're on like the 12th After floor. Me. Oh, God. We gotta go so far. It's not a normal... You're not a normal school student if you don't forget everything over the summer. Honestly. You have to forget everything. Literally, the first two weeks back in school is you, like, refreshing everything that you forgot over the entirety of summer. I, dude, that's what I was saying, man. There's, a, You can't be out of shape if you go to school at Hogwarts. Because it stares up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You probably go through hundreds of flights of stairs per day. I want to get more, like, wand practice. They keep giving us these hints about, like, wand combat. Ah. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Yes, I got this. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Understood. Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best professor. Show us how it's done. All right, we've got this. Akio. Boom. Splendid. Oh. Stay focused. I got this. I got this. That's it. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. That's perfect. Is that inbounds? Does that count? Very good. Just to be sure. Bang. We got it. We're that good. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Understood. Yes, Who goes first? She goes first, right? Sorry, let me get out your way. Watch this. Oh, she walks away like a G. Okay, 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 okay. I see you. All right, we're gonna block her in. That left one, we're gonna block it in. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ain't ready for this. Akio. Not exactly your typical lesson, is it? Too Not far? I mind. No, I got it. Let's go. What you got? Excellent control she might, there. Can she knock me off? It. Oh, that one's a slow roller. Oh, she got it. That okay. Okay, okay. I see you. All right. We got we got to answer. We got to answer. Bang. I got this. Quite impressive. Yes, ma'am. Are she going to park it right in this pocket? Oh, you left an opening. Right down the middle. Right down the middle. You ain't ready. We about to, we are about to prove that we are the best student. Let's go. Akio. Do not think I will start going easy on you now. Oh, bang! Let's go! 50s across score. the board. Remarkable. You gave me the opening. That's right. You already know who it is. Yes, sir. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Oh, we're not done. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. All right, Natty. Enough, chatter, get it. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. Oh, she got that first one through. Okay. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. I know everyone is watching, but try not to be nervous. You are doing quite well. Akio. Bang! Bang! In the, the words of the brilliant Mike Breen. Oh. That is how it's done. All right, we're going to try not to block ourselves here on this one. Professor, you are literally in the way. Typical lesson, is it? Not that I mind. I think I see the opening for this one. 
back here. Oh, 50, come on! Well done. Did we get it? Oh, they, they gave us 30 for that one? Let's Check it. Easy. That's closer to 50 than the 30. Oh. Oh, it's over! I I have that. It's over! And we're already in line. Look at this. Speed run this crap. Bang! Splendid! Yeah, baby. Where's my perfect score, though? That's on the 50. Very good, both of you. Well done. We got, we got, we got gypped. That was probably an achievement to get all perfect scores. Somebody get the index card out. That was, that was a perfect score. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Do you know about Knuckles? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. No, no, not at all. Wizarding hmm. magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. Really? I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Her accent is so strong. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Hmm, that's cool. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Until next time, we have to rematch. Course, you can use Accio on humans, if you're so inclined. What the heck? A word you'd be if using you it on clothing. Yeah, to be I got you. What you, you want? wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Charms class. All right, we completed our two main quests that they gave us um, at the start. Hey, right, look at that. Hello. We leveled up. How was your first day coming along? Hello, Samantha. Pretty all right, nice I'd to say. See you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Oh yeah, you already know. Um, wasn't too ja Nah, we'll be humble about it. That <laughs> I've was been nice. Fortunate. Beginner's luck. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, 
He tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my You gotta know your though. limits. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Well, yeah, you're not a beginner. That would that would make sense. We got a new quest. Now we get to go to Hogsmeade. Yeah, uh, that's where we're gonna go right now. We're gonna. Well, it says right here, meet with Professor Weasley. We're gonna go to Hogsmeade. So we still have this, um, um, you know, Fight Club. We don't talk about Fight Club. Isn't Luna a, a Ravenclaw? Yeah, yeah. Hundred years later, she will be. We'll be long gone by then. Excuse you, bro. What does T do? Oh! What is this? Essentials? Basic. Revelio. Protego. Stupefy. Oh, that's the counterattack one, right? Um... Can we re- I'd like to be able to rebind these. I might do that in my own time, um, after our first session. Because I don't imagine we'll play for a long time tonight. Um, we'll start probably on Monday playing, like, really playing. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah! Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the Minister a boot or the Minister a flack? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot and he says it's a flack. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. And you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boot and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, cat, come here. It didn't. It didn't come here. I like this one. I like this cat. Like, the only one of the main movie cast from Ravenclaw with well, Luna? Um, oh, Cho, right? She's also from... But she didn't come into play until later. 5, 12. 3, 0. I don't even know how to, like, interact with these. Oh. Oh, oh, look at this. Wait, that was double question mark. Oh, oh. Is it a ma is it a numbers equation? So this one is for the missing one on the top, right? This one's for the missing one on this bottom one. So four unicorn in that equals to 12, I'm assuming. And then three zero plus the question, whatever the question mark is equal to two. So would it be... Wait, do I have this? Do I have this already? No, I don't. What is that up at the top? That. I thought I had that. Unless it's multiplication. Huh. It's an algebra puzzle? No, I don't think it's algebra. I was thinking it was like addition, like 
So, so the top one would be like three plus zero plus, well, two, right? So I was thinking, okay, well, you count these one, two, three, four, five, six around the horn like that, right? So it was, I was thinking like unicorn is two because that gives you five, right? So then the unicorn plus whatever plus four equals 12 right and that that wasn't it too so unicorn means a different number there's a different uh unit behind unicorn so i was thinking maybe multiplication like three times zero zero times whatever is still zero so i was thinking maybe it's multiplication plus addition so three times zero zero plus five and then whatever five is so one two three four five would be that right so then it would be unicorn two times what plus four would equal 12 so it'd be two times four is eight and then eight plus four is 12 right so then that would be the oh i don't have the right thing on so it would be that right but it's not that's not it, so I don't know. But maybe we do find something that, you know, makes more sense. The only thing that I can think of is that, like, the rotation of it changes the equation. So, like, maybe I had it right on the first one, but because it's not... Stra I don't think it's algebra. Revelio. And I don't think this gives us any any idea. I don't know. Um, level. Oh, so that did mean a level two lock back there. Okay, so I, I don't know what that means necessarily. I don't know. I'm intrigued. We're going to spin everything. There's got to be like an achievement. Ooh, chest. What's in here? Oh, 71 coins. I almost didn't even see that pop up. There's got to be an achievement for like spinning everything, right? Ooh, cat. The black cat with the green eyes is the coolest one so far. Oh, hello. Another cat. They all like me. I think he was hungry. Their charms class. All right, so now we need to go in. Where are we meeting her at? Well, I mean, I would just check it. The astronomy wing. Uh, we gotta go down a couple of floors. Not too far away. I already feel like I have the ability to kind of go wherever I want right now. Revelio. Fast travel. On another adventure, are we? Yep. Gotta go. Spin it. We've already uh, spinned these. I, I'm never big on fast traveling, so I usually end up walking most places. Which, I mean, a lot of these fast travel locations are so close to each other that I, I don't ever feel like I really need to. Oh, I kind of unintentionally walked past this one. Sorry. Sorry, pal. Is there a chest here? Oh, it's down below. Kitty! See you tomorrow for the bowl of super. Yes, sir! Begin quest. I've always said. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. 
I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Uh, no, Professor. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spellcrafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Uh... There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. Well, what there is. This? Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. So in a hundred years or so, I guess the one in Diagon Alley is the one that- I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Um, Sebastian's kind of like our, I feel like he's like our arch rival already. So like in terms of friendship, I think Natty is way more of a friend. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. All right, all right, all right, all right. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given you by Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm, Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and their progress in the Quests menu of your field guide. Revelio. Oh, what did I get? Partial Transfiguration. The partially transfigured teacup, likely the soon to be reversed error of a second year, serves as a cautionary tale for those who do not take seriously the complexities and dangers of transfiguration. So it's a, like a rat in a teacup. Is there anything else here? Oh, what is this? Money, 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 money. Sorry, I was just exploring, looking at stuff. Revelio. I, I, this is all new to me. I'm ready to go to Hogsmeade. Hello, Professor. Ah, there you are. Here I am. <laughs> you have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The Mending Charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. 
A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. All right, all right, all right. So we already have collected one of the pages, right? Uh, this one, right? Got it. Let's go, let's go, let's go! A flying page must be around here somewhere. Akio, brilliant. Sniped it. I was already ahead of the curve. I had already gotten a page. Only one, but... I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Done. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember... Your wand is a conduit of your magic. All right, this one's not as easy, it looks like. All right, here we go. Clean with it. Repair -o. Give me something to repair. That's it. Very good. Break something. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Repair it. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, that. Look at my work. Beautiful. Look at it. Beautiful. Perfect. I'm so good at this wizard crap. All right. We got some. We got so many places to explore, but not just yet. We won't do it just yet. We'll reserve ourselves. We're gonna stay on task just for a little bit, and then we'll get to exploring. There's something over here. Ah, it's, it's gonna be inside. Is it gonna be just on our left here? Excuse me. Ah, it's in here. Okay. Okay, we gotta we gotta figure this crap out. Okay, okay. I'm so determined to figure this out. Yo, come here. Akio. Tease me like that. Um, eleven. This guy, Cthulhu. And something is plus what plus what plus what I'm assuming it's addition some sort of like it's some sort of mathematical combination gotta be right so that which would be 12 right two four six eight no it's ten ten Vowel? But where's the two at? Revelio. No, that's a key of some sort. Oh, is it up there? It is. I adore decorating for the holidays. There's gotta be something around here that gives us a clue. Maybe each of them are different. Ah, I'm so oh. I want to I want to figure it out so bad I could sit here for hours and try to figure this out I really could okay so it's none of the possible equations that I thought with just like simple addition. So it's not My that. 
So, th so this one definitely rules out the idea of it being addition. Unless each of the lines means something different. So if it's like, it's not like just complete addition all the way through. Maybe it is like... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll come back. We'll come back. I'm so intrigued by that puzzle, though. Why do we even have flies? Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'd like to do some window shopping in Hogsmeade. What? There's something here? Revelio. Oh, it's above me. Oh, it's a side quest. We'll come back for that. Oh! Please, game. I'm gonna keep my eye on you two. Sometimes you can find some quite interesting things. Oh, hello. Oh god, the game's chugging. Hi, Natty. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. I am ready. I'm ready. We're going to get to have our own wand and everything. Maybe I'll get to spend some of my uh, hard-earned money that I stole out of random chests. Listen, I didn't say it was my hard-earned money. It's just hard-earned money, you know? That just so happens to be in my possession. Oh, you can see the the arena. I'm glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. I like being out here already. This is cool. Oh my god, look at it. Look at the castle. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air. I want to go to the stadium. Ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class. Believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Ah, <laughs> nice. That's cool. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Felt. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. I did, and I still hate it. <laughs> oh, wait, over here. Oh, I what do you see? I often spot lace flies in this area. Oh. Is that what those are? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Stew them? Boom! Breaking the game. It's kind of stopped raining. I mean, it's still kind of. Look, from the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. 
Oh, look, there's another one. No, that's not an hippogriff. Absolutely. Oh, that's so cool. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Yes. Ah, yes. There's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. I would spend all of Squirrel. my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Wow, oh, that looks so me. nice. I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Maybe one day. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Hi. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrified. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Okay. <gasps> Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Akio. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. This is my Hermione. Keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. She's she's smart. Hogsmeade, we're here. Oh yeah, we're 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 here, all right. Excuse me. And here we are. Kitty. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for Butterbeer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. Okay. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Well, where do we, where do we start? Professor we gotta pick Lucy somewhere. that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivanda, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Okay, so we get enjoy to explore yourself. a little bit. I will see you soon. Can do. Uh, Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guide map with M. Field guide map. You know, M for field guide. <laughs> uh, you can track any of these. Um, I want the wand. Ollivanders is right next to us. I'm going to start at Ollivanders. There it is. Merlin's blooming beard. Not again. Hello. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. 
But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Um, I that, yeah, that looks, that looks like it's the one. Uh, vine wood type, phoenix feather, flexibility is rigid, ten and three quarter inches. I mean, that that really, we get to pick the color of it though. How intriguing. Oh, I don't know about that, though. Dark brown or ash? I think I like the ash brown. Oh, we can switch between them. Okay. Curious Classic indeed. gray. Notched warm brown. How intriguing. Oh, a natural gray. Okay, one second, guys. One second. I have a real wand here. Okay, 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 okay. From not not from the wizarding world of Harry Potter by no means, but here, here, here. Actually, we'll go we'll go full screen for this. Here, look at this. Look at this, right? 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 We can build off of this and make it more of ours, right? This is actually my wand, too. There is a uh, unique place out there in uh, the world of Tennessee that um, has um, uh, s a special place where I can use this wand. Curious indeed. So we might go with natural or classic. Let's see what other options do we have here. Oh no, we can't change any of this because this is our specialty. This is our one, you know? One core, definitely Phoenix. Definitely Phoenix. Okay, so we have to decide between the classic or the natural. I'm thinking the natural. I'm thinking we go with that one. I mean, mine is more classic Curious than natural. Indeed. We'll go, we'll go with natural, though. I think natural gives it a little more flair, but it's got to have that gray to it, you know? I think I think that's good, because we're, we're definitely keeping all of the uh, intricacies, right? How intriguing. I wonder what all this changes. 
Curious indeed. Wow, there's a lot. Wow, there's so many. How intriguing. Okay, all right, all right, all right, we're good. Here we go. This is our wand of choice right here. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a Phoenix Feather Core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Oh, that was so cool. I like, I like, I like that. We got some more coinage. So now we have our wand. Ours. I'm so happy that, like, it got to, like, it gave you the specifications. If you had linked your Warner Brothers account, it gave you that one. But then you could customize it a little bit. I liked that. So I was able to get something similar to this bad boy, right? Obviously, it doesn't have, like, the, the goldish trim on it, but... It's similar to this, right? I think that's so cool. So I kind of get to bring that wand in with me. That's so cool. Okay, anyway. Anyway. Um, I mean, we can use the map to figure out where we need to go. But I kind of just want to walk around a little bit. So, like, let's do that. What's this? Level 2 lock. Okay. Okay. An inquiring mind. Hi. This is the scroll shop. Thomas Brown. Hello. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Shall we? I think Let's look we at shall. What we have, shall we? All right. Uh, well, I mean, we've got the the two items for free, obviously that were already ordered if for you're us. If you interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. God dang, that's expensive. Oh, and then I could always sell these. Oh, we're gonna sell that because like that's hot trash. Oh, is that it? All right, we're done with him. All right, so we got to go to a potion station, and uh, we got to visit the magic neep. Excuse me. Go this way. What are these places? Bingle and Blatch. 
fast travel. Oh, there's a chest over here. It's inside. Gosh darn it. Ow, my head. Oh, what is this? Orange Eye of Newt. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I've yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just walk and explore the world. Lock? Yep. 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 Excuse me. Stay on your side of the road. What is this? Oh, it's one of those really old music players. Yeah, that's that's time fitted. Who's tea? Oh, we can eat this too. Bro, whose stuff am I taking? <laughs> oh, a piano. Beautiful. Ooh, a chest. A black bowler hat. Nah, we got our flat cap on. Unless we find a better flat cap. Can I buy any mu mu musical instruments? No? Okay. Cool little shop, though. That we get to just go into. Alright, let's go this way. Oh. Yeah, trim it up. Yeah! Oh, look at that. Wonderful. Oh, this one to match. Look at it. Precision cutting. Oh, look at our wand. Yeah! I don't know what that is, but, you know. Seems dangerous enough. Yoink! Don't leave your money lying around. Oh, we gotta go in here. Welcome to the candy shop. Hey! Oh. Yeah, give me some candy, man. Oh my god, he just vomited everywhere. That's cool. Can we get any candy? Oh, we can take some... Some good candy right there. We're just eating everything? Oh, we're just gonna eat everything. We're gonna get so fat. Uh-oh. They'll make you float. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Revelio. I should have read this first. <laughs> These delicious sweets, rumored to contain billywig stings, are small sherbet balls that, when consumed, will levitate only a few inches off the ground. Yeah, I probably should have read that before I just put it in my mouth like a toddler. I just see something, I just start cramming it in my mouth. Will this kill me? No, okay. What about this? No, okay. This is cool. Fred, my arch nemesis. Andy? Uh oh. Uh. It made me an elephant. Revelio. What is this? This is so cool! Am I to stop it or will it... Okay, it's... It's finishing up on its own. Obviously, I've never been in a magical candy shop, but like, getting into a candy shop is always so cool to see because it's so colorful and there's just stuff everywhere. It's so cool. Candy shops are awesome. 
What do we have here? Pepper imps? Oh! Oh my god, I'm gonna set the place on fire! Ooh, that was spicy. Joink, you saw nothing. Right, you saw nothing. More bread. And we run. Oh, up here. What's up here? Oh, cupcake. Yoink. Oh, cake. Yoink. Whatever this is. Yoink. We're trying everything. Push kid down and run. Oh, whoa. Oh. Slow your roll there, champ. Oh, come here, you! Akio! Gotcha! That's a big bag. What is this? Can we go in here? Probably not. Oh, we can. Oh my god. I didn't mean to do that. Rebellion. What'd you get? Pats, get out the way. I'm trying to... Okay. Fine. Fine. I did say I liked the black cat earlier, so... Okay. That's cute and all. Get out the way. Oh, it was about the cats. These cats seem to stay close uh, to Scriven Shaft's quill shop. Perhaps it's the feather quills that entice them, or perhaps it's the treats the owner often leaves for them. Um, you know, I would have to say it's probably the treats. Oh, yoink. Elegant house cloak. We'll have to check that out. Maybe when we get back to the common room. Oh, I believe in you. Well, 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 we'll take off with it then. <laughs> I tried to help him out. Yeah, it didn't work. We're going in here. God dang! I keep hitting the wrong one. A mannequin, unlike the enchanted mannequins uh, favored by students, for dueling practice, the mannequins at Glad, Glad Rags serve only as a means to display the latest wizarding fashion. I'm just learning about everything. Joint, thanks for leaving that out, loser. Okay. Sick. I like the one on the right. The one on the right's pretty, pretty fire. You can interact with so many things in the world. I love it here. Why is that eyeball staring at me? Rebellion. Oh, that's a bird. Gotta spin it. Yeah, I'm coming to. I'm coming to look at you. You staring at me? Levioso. No, nothing. Lumos. No. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot, I guess. Hi. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I talk to you? No. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go steal this real quick. Oh, this is class stuff. Elegant casual uniform. When we're vibing. Why can't I? It looks like he's got a little prompt above his head. Maybe I'll be able to engage with him later on. Alright. Get out of here. Place is huge. Yo, come here. Akio. Gotcha. Can we go in here? Oh, we can go in everywhere. Oh, fireworks. Probably put that back. 
Oh, hey, kid. Don't push? Well... Rebellion. Sorry about you, but we're gonna push it. Dung bombs! Oh, that's what, uh... What's his name? Everett did earlier. Don't push. We're pushing it. <clears throat> Nobody saw that. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Uh, I heard it was this kid named Everett. Oh, I kind of like that. That's cool. Look at him go. I believe in you, buddy. Oh, he spilled. Cool. This is so cool. Oh, I meant to do that. Oh, hey. We're supposed to go back in. <laughs> I'd love to be able to just buy stupid little things, you know? Oh, okay, we've been, we've been here before. Yeah, that's all of Anders. Okay, so we went right the first time, so we've looped kind of back around now. Oi! Akio! Gotcha. There's three more of those around here somewhere. A lot of these places are locked. What is this? Yoink. Are you open? Yeah, okay. Alright, it's one of the places that we need to go. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Quidditch gloves! Oh, you stinkers. You're gonna give me Quidditch gloves, but I can't play Quidditch? Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Shall we? I need that one. Feel I need that one. Take a look at the rest of my inventory. Invisibility or, back potion. another time if you're in a rush today. We're halfway there, actually. Okay, so these are like, um, like mixers. Things that we get to create other stuff rather than, you know, these are the recipes themselves, so. Oh, combat tools. See, why buy the potions when you can buy the recipe? Yeah. Rebellion. J. Pippin's potions established in 1753. Been 150 years then. Is the uh, apothecary in Hogsmeade where proprietary Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Wait, 1753, right? So we're in 1890, right? I think. So how are you that old, man? Is that normal for people to be that old? Hey, you look a mighty dapper, sir. All right. 
Well, that's another place that we can come and visit and uh, buy stuff. Let's go this way. Oh! Chill! Yoink! I'm a menace. Yoink! What is this club meeting? Wow, this place is tiny. Yoink! Meeting everything. Drinking everything. Oh my god, it's drooling all over everything. <laughs> Revelio. There's something back here. A mounted hog's head. This mounted hog head rolls its eyes and snuffles its nose as it oversees the CD atmosphere and decidedly interesting clientele of the hog's head. Don't mind me, sir. I'm just gonna thieve real quick. What are you? I feel like I can do something with this guy. Lumos. It's whispering at me. Accio. Levioso. Hmm. I'm just uh, you know, a first year, fifth year. Boom! Heads up! I love it here. Oh, we haven't been in here yet. I wonder how many people have gone around exploring like this, like right out the gate. Gold rimmed circular spectacles. They're not just normal little spectacles. They're gold. Revelio. Ah, there's a page back there. We gotta go get it. Good thing the back. Come here, Akio. Yeah. Yoink. Two? That's it? Just two? Alright, now we gotta we gotta find out where we gotta go. If we go this way, we might not have gone this way. Let's go this way and then oh. Yeah, we've been here. Okay. Uh let's figure out where we gotta go. We missed a shop. Where did we miss our shop at? Which one is it? Now we went through Tombs and Scrolls, Ollivanders, um... No, I don't want to abandon it. I want to... Magic Neep. Where, where did I, where did I miss that? Oh, it's, oh, it's all the way over here. We didn't go all the way out here. Yeah, we went up here. Yep, yep, yep. And then we'll meet back at Hogsmeade Square. So I was going actually the complete opposite way of where I needed to go. I was I was there originally, but then uh, we turned around. Yeah, this seems a little, it seems out of the way. Yo. Hello! Hi! I'm heard you've got something for me. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo! Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. 
can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dipney seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. A Dipney seeds, as Do you I said. Look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, I don't really see there being much oh, of a reason everything. for us to buy go and find that really in. anything, if I'm being honest with you. Oh, oh, we've got some stuff that can give us stats. Revelio. Oh, we got something here. Yoink. We like our field guides. The Magic Neep cart. This cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. As he just informed us, yeah. All right. Well, we are now um, currently done here. Except, excuse me, little bunny, little bunny, bunny, foo foo. I'm just gonna go climbing. I was gonna go on a right adventure there. We're gonna go this way. Uh, we're exploring. Revelio. We got stuff everywhere. Gimme, gimme. Can we get in here? Probably locked, right? Is it behind it? Oh, it's behind it. Oh! You probably gotta sneak up on Lumos. these guys, right? Yeah, we, we got we gotta learn there's something we gotta learn about those guys. We gotta go this way to get to where we're going? I get I mean I guess. Oh come here! Akio. Gotcha! Sniped ya! Oh, there's the Dapper Man. I got my eye on you. Oh, look, he's there again. The Dapper Man. Oh, look, he's down on the other side of the bridge. Ah! Cat. Natty! What's up? We got another kid with a stupid broom. Get out the way, kid. My game's dying. Ah. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. I went to use Protecto. What is happening? Oh, my game's dying. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We have to wear him down. Arrest the momentum. Oh, nice. Shell. Protecto. Oh. Ah. I was trying to beat him at his own game. I like it. Do more of it. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh. 
We're doing great. No, not Honey Dukes. He's confused. Look, he's faltering. Took him long enough. We need to make sure he stays that way. I'm working on it. We're doing great. I could stun him with that. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Uh, so we gotta probably repair -o a lot of things here. We, 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 we kinda, repair you know, broke some stuff. I will see what he wants. repair -o. Yeah, that looks good as new. Revelio. I can't collect my guides if everything's broken. Repair. Almost lost Honey Dukes, man. We almost lost it. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. We must make it look as good as new. Repair. -er. That one didn't want to repair. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Yeah, honestly. Oh. Can I can I handle the building? Is that Oh god. Am I strong enough? Oh my god. Look at it. And then we're going to do this just to top it all off. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, oi! Come back! Akio. We're level six. We were hey, just buddy. talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizardware, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, sir. We'll take it. Why Thank not? you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Show me what you got. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Traditional school robe. Show me. Is, is this not what we... Oh, this one's gonna... It's gonna have stats on it. Uh, you received a new piece of gear. Time to equip it. Uh, your current defense and offense are displayed at the top right of the screen. Yeah, we, we, we kind of already stumbled across this. Select the cloaks and robes gear slot and press the left click. Right here. And then we've got our traditional skull robe, and then now we've got 
the elegant skull robe, which we got earlier, and then there's the traditional skull robe that we just got. So this one doesn't give us any defense, uh, but it can be upgraded. Three slots, it looks like. Um, and then this is the one that we just got. So it doesn't change at all. It just gives us stats now. We'll have to go through and look at this stuff and see uh, what to keep and what not to keep. Like um, this one, we could probably sell the traditional school robe now. It'll free up an inventory slot. Um, gold rim. Yes, yeah, so we got two different gold rimmed ones. One's got some value to it and the other doesn't. So we can get rid of the one that doesn't have any value to it. Pretty neato. Neato burrito. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Not right now. Come on, game. We might have to maybe Assuming cap our frame rate. Busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Good to know. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> Oh, time lane. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ovenous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever.
Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Yeah, that's fair. Um, so they're just basically telling us that some quests just are going to give us a general idea of where to go and not a specific area. Revelio. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything in here for us. Or maybe there is. What's over here? Oh, nice. Let's go. We're up to nine of those. Oh, I was so wrong about that. Embroidered formal uniform. We're going to keep going up. Up, 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 up. Ah, locked. We will have to come back. What a cool little place, though. Time to go. Oh, it's dark now. All right, Natty. Say we head back. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Yeah, that's fair. You must return to your common room for the night. Access the map. Are we walking back? I don't mind to walk back. Select Hogwarts map. The switch. Okay. Fast travel to the common room. All right, well, we're, we're heading back. Ah, I see. I understand how it works now. All right, well. Um, I don't think I want to be done there. I think we'll play a little bit longer. I mean, it would be a good place to kind of stop for now, but... We'll play a little bit longer. We'll play until we get to another, like... Because I feel like we haven't completely gone through... We've done the epilogue, obviously, but we haven't gone into the complete freedom to just kind of do and go wherever we want. Like, Hogsmeade was still kind of an introduction sort of deal. I kind of want to get through the opening um, aspects of the game in our first run here. So this is going to be one of those type of games that the further you fast travel, the longer the load time is, it's, it seems. Which, I mean, with a game that looks as nice as this, man, I, I don't blame it. We got an owl! So this is our... Nice. I, I, dude, this is... Freaking awesome. Owl's so cool. Rebellion. Uh, you have received an owl post. That O? Oh, we gotta hit our field guide first. Owl post will be sent when characters you've met have requests or updates for you. Select Professor Fig to see his owl post. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. 
All right. Well, how did how do we get to that though? I mean, I guess it did say just press O. Um, we're back at the common room. Let's take a look at uh, gear. Gear. We'll take a look at gear. Oh, here's our inventory of our stuff that we we so we snatched up some flies and we got some moonstone while we were traveling. Um, but gear. I want to take a look at some gear. So we got some new hand gear. So this will increase our offense. That's our Quidditch gloves. Crimson Quidditch gloves. We're, we're, we're blue team, though. Uh, do they have, like, a... Um, between quests, a good time to identify new gear, sell excess to vendors, and increase your gear capacity by completing Merlin trials. That's that's right. I was talking to um, our boy Toidles about that. So we've still got some gear space, but, like, I want to see... Um, like, is there a way to... Okay, so both of these are the same. One can apply traits, the other can't. <laughs> these um, are more fitting. Um, but I forget what they're called in, like, uh, MMOs. Um, they're like... Oh, I can't remember what they're called. They're like... You can wear the gear that you want... But then, like, hidden underneath it is the gear that you're, like, using and then th that all the stats have. Because, like, I want to wear the flat cap, right? I don't want to wear this, but this gives us better stats, right? Unless that is a thing. Oh, I bet it's in the appearance. Change appearance. I bet it's here, right? Oh, those are cool. Stitch with mysterious design. Earned by completing main quests. Yeah, those are kind of cool. Yeah, this is probably how we do it. Invisible gloves. We're going to be still wearing our gloves, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That This is, okay, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, okay, okay. Understood. And I'm assuming even if we don't own this anymore, we'll still have it. So we'll put those back on. Actually, we'll put those on. And then here, uh, we won't wear any, but we'll equip those. We'll go to appearance. Oh yeah, it gives it gives us all of them. Even the the normal ones that we got rid of. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's cool. That's what I'm talking about. Any game that's got like these RPG elements to it like that, and they allow you to do that, is so cool. So cool. That's the elegant house robe. It is pretty pretty elegant, I must say. So we'll equip that, and then we'll wear... Which one will we wear? We'll wear... We'll continue to wear that. Um, hold on. We got to... Take this off first. I want to look at the new vests we got. We're going to be level 7 to wear this one. We can't even wear this one yet. Okay, that's the one we're wearing. And then this is the new one. Which, I'll be honest, that more casual... Maybe maybe we'll, we'll build up to the casual. But it is the best one statistically for us to wear for now. So. For now, we're not too stressed out. You know what I mean? We can, we can stay a little dapper. Oh, we've got this one too. Wait. Why is this one... Oh, that's clean. Yeah, this one's not here. Oh, yeah, it is. It's here. Okay, it's the level 7 one. Mmm, spicy. I like it. Now, do I want the, um... Cloak over top of it? The robe? You know, maybe day two, we won't. I don't have any handles. We look quite dapper. Alright, let's see if we can uh, add to more gear. We got a new scarf. Oh no, we don't. Not yet. We're still working on some of these. We're getting there, though.
We got prankster spectacles. We got a hat. Got some new stuff. Collections. Yeah, update us on everything. Can we just like mark these or do we have to look at them? Oh, this is gonna be cool. We get to read about the enemies that we come across and encounter. That's gonna be cool. There's our potions. Oh yeah, all the stuff that we came across. Oh, that's so cool. I'm loving this so far. Fantastic. So much for us to go over. Um, yep, we'll go and talk to Professor Fig. That's already what's tracked for us, so. Don't we look mighty nice? We gotta go down. That's cool. I wonder what that blue bar is. Down the bottom right. So these are all of our essentials. Uh, when at least one segment of your ancient magic meter. Well, that just answered that for me. So these are the essentials. These are the ones that we have on us all the time. chest can we get into it? it looks like it's got a lock yeah level three my god we go too far what do we have here Revelio. is there anything here nope We go out this way? We're in the tower. Got it. I know where we're at. We gotta learn from our common room how to get to where we're going. This is the student's room? Yeah. Ours is floor three, I think. Oh, this is five? I think this is ours. Yeah, this is ours. Hey, buddy! That's cool. So we can literally interact with our owl. What are you up to now? Are you talking to me? House chest place. I don't know what there would be to place. Can we put our wand away, man? Oh, we were walking around with intent all the time. We can take big strides on the big staircase. Revelio. Field guide. Ravenclaw door knocker. To gain entrance to the Ravenclaw common room, one must solve a rather... Ecetric riddle? Is that what that word is? I have no idea what that word is. Using logic and reasoning posed by the eagle door knocker. Will it close? Can we see it again? We saw it at the beginning of the game. So cool looking. Yeah, there it is. That's so cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Revelio. Can't do nothing with them. Nothing with you. Oh, we got another uh, one of these moths. Lumos. Green? A green room. With a little staircase. Tiny staircase. Oh, hey. Come 
my god, I am cruising right now. Zoom and look at me go down the stairs. I imagine that those places aren't going to be very far. Hippogriffs. Whoa, dude. Game, please. Thank you. The defense against the Dark Arts Tower. We don't need to go down. We, we just had class here. Yesterday. chest here. Gimme. Don't know what that is. Oh, we just yoinked that. Professor Fig, as if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the ministry has charged me with arranging the rather... <sighs> charged me? That's a weird word uh, choice there. Arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts. A fifth year, if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them acclimate acclimatize before term begins i have assigned the task to you please see professor weasley for details professor phineas ne 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 i don't know how to say what how do you say his middle name black professor black that's the headmaster they said i think they said his middle name before quest time And sit on the floor. Hello, sir. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Uh, Ranrock and Rookwood want the locket. Um, we question. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. That's fair. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. All right. Oh, we can dodge roll around now? Heck yeah. Oh, it's underneath me. 
Urge defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. Listen here, you little wiener head. Before I, uh, Don't you know, blame you. Simply because you had one victory over Sallow. He never backs down from a fight. How about you? Do you back down, though? What do you think? You, you want, you want to, pew, pew. You want to, you want to do, whoa! Careful there, champ! Revelio. Wait, that's not what Accio. I want to do. Yeah, pow! It was highlighted, so I wanted to see if it would do it. Yeah, yeah, that's right, you run! Out the way. What is this? I think this is a girl's Rebellion. room. Ah, nothing safe from me. Got him. Why is that highlighted? I mean, we're gonna walk past it, so might as well check it out, right? How do I get to that? I, I I probably gotta go across. Yeah, across and then around. Is it in our classroom? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented Luke. Revelio. Excuse me, I gotta I gotta get something from my book. Oi! There we go. I believe we have Ah, the black skeleton, yeah. To discuss. What's up, Teach? Oh, let me do that. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire making spell, handy for lighting torches burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. All right, we have our tasks. Okay, when two rounds of crossed wands, a complete a round of spell combination practice with Lucan. Seems crossed wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. Okay, I'm intrigued. Are you all right? <laughs> what do you got for me? Don't you know who I am? No. Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. I hate you too. Yeah. <laughs> everyone hates you. I'll ask. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst. That okay. no talent moon mind. Whoa, I whoa, whoa, to make chill. Some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. She's gotta be like a first year, second year, right? Sounds awful. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. <laughs> and Melda fair, is that's one of the fair. worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. Everett? Now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. I'd have done the same. Oh my Rather god. Yeah, we'll downplay it. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone... Perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Oh, I that's me. That's me. Um I'll see what I can do. Yeah, no I'd promises. Appreciate but... the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. 
I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. By myself in no time. All right, well, we've got um, two quests going right now. Gotta find her little gobstones. Her marbles. She's lost her marbles. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I found one. Akio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Yeah, but I mean, we're doing it for the sake of the kid. Some students uh, keeping her from having some fun. We'll try to right the wrong. We got five more of these things to get. I Yoink. Hey, that's eight of them. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Off on another adventure, are we? Yep. And you know me. What is this? Whoa. Our right, game did not like that. Oh, this is tall. Uh, excuse me? Oh, I know this room. I mean, I know this room. Billy doesn't know this room. Ah. Gotta spin the thing. Um, uh, oh, nah. Under preferred black directors, modern is for high school, which is for we are thoroughly surprised for the for the you lead away to fight Matilda Weasley. I wonder if we'll be up here anytime soon. Taking some classes. Uh, <clears throat> we can do that. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Here we go. The standing model of a hand. Drift up the palm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Depending on the mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. You can sort a lifeline or is likely to die in Fortnite. Yep. Oh, we're level seven now. Hey, I found the thing. Found the ball. There it is. Can I get it from here? No, I'd I better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Gotcha. Those are some big marbles, I'm, I must say. I've always said that travel. Got another one. Gotcha. That's three of them. Halfway there. Oh. We're halfway there. Excuse me, I got some marbles to get. I've lost my marbles. No, it's not this way. Stand back. I've lost my marbles. Excuse me. Excuse me. I've lost my marbles. You see my marbles? I gotta go this way. Thank you for opening the door. Appreciate you. Oh god, I can't see. This is our tower. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know how to get into this door, would you? Like, you could, like, give me a hint of the passcode or something. You you wouldn't have any idea, right? I didn't think you would. Oh, hello. Oh, is this the green? This is the green room. Moth. Lumos. Gotcha. Follow me, buddy. Uh, excuse me. I got I got a moth here. Uh, 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 uh. Got it. Dub. I knew it had to be close by. Cuz I, I was going to look around and I was going to kind of look and see if there was like a hint. Of something that could help us understand these gosh darn mother heckin stinking puzzles man I'm, I'm gonna figure you out I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones That's up.
How do I? Leviosa. Look at me. I got it. I got it on the first try. Oh, it's this place. Go left. Such a cool staircase. Ah, another one of those. We're almost to the top. Okay. Okay. Nice to see you, my young friend. Thank God. Who is talking to me? Oh, you are. Yeah, more stairs. Uh, all for some marbles. And these kids will go all out for anything. Uh, uh, we I'm made it. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's That's a big armor. Look at how big this armor is. Revelio. Troll armor. Okay. I wouldn't want to come across any armor, uh, troll armor like that. Hey, are you guys smoking? Knock it off. Ah, there you are. This is glowing. Revelio. Goblet of Fire Casket. The Goblet of Fire rests within this ancient jewel-encrusted chest. The goblet has served as a means of selecting champions for the Tri-Wizard Tournament since the contest establishment in the late 13th century. Ah, there it is! Akio. Bang! That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. We got all of our gobstones. What is this? Hogwarts Herbology Award in recognition of exemplary, 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 exemplary. There we go. Skill in the, I, the second time I said it, I was like, that is not the word. Uh, the herbology. Hogwarts bestows this special award upon seventh year Hufflepuff. Uh, mar mar marable, mar marable, marable, garlic, marable, got it. From mandrakes to mistletoe and bubo tubers, bubo, 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 to bouncing bulbs. Her work with Flora has exceeded all <laughs> expectations. Bro, some of the words in this um, world are crazy. Everybody loves some uh, good old bubos. <laughs> All right, we got to get all the way back to Zenobia. The most hated student here. Self-proclaimed. Allegedly the most hated. Oh, all the way. Oh, faster. Oh, I was going to see if I could just shortcut it. They were prepared for students trying that. Oh, God. That was terrifying. Don't drop your books. Out the way. I got places to go, people to see. Excuse me. Got the afterburners on. We're almost there. This is where I should probably fast travel. But it's just the exploring of a universe like this. I did the same thing in uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. I love it here just because of the music. I hope hey, you! More luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Yeah, I got your marbles. Don't worry. Hello, Zenobia. Your gobbers, your gobstoppers. Your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. 
However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? <laughs> oh, that, what, a, what a douche canoe move. No, I think I'll keep them. Of course, they are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Uh, you know, great idea. Yeah. I'm sure they'd be Terrible willing to play idea. after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Yeah. Yeah. Dang, 180 XP? Woo! We're rolling in it now. That's what I'm talking about. You're not currently tracking anything. Excuse me. What you mean I'm not? Uh, map. This. This. This one. This one. Th th this one. Track quest. You must learn the fire making charm. Right, 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 right. Um, it's got the... Wait, I'm confused. Oh, that's why it's got the lock thing on it. Uh, quests. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the one that we needed to do. Complete a round of spell combination practice with... Okay, so we gotta win the two rounds at the crossed wands and then all that. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking it was a main... I mean, it is a main quest, but it's like a side quest to get to the main quest. That are connected together. We're going up? Yeah, we're going up. Heard Watch where you're pointing that man. Meat against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. You... Okay, listen here, you little wiener. That's twice. That's twice now he said that to me. Third time I ain't putting up with it. We haven't been out this way yet. Yeah, load in. There we go. We're at a new place. Oh, are you okay, man? Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice a mole? As long as for only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, Peas, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp. Sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But Don't forget your book. But did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges, be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim. Wee! Okay, you for this. I, I, he's gone. You can get your, you can get your books now. He's, he's, he's gone. Well, I hope I don't have to run into Peeves. Revelio. Haunted toilets. Unless in dire straits, it is probably best to avoid this particular toilet, as it is allegedly one of Peeves' favorite pranking spots. Peeves is a ghost. You just gonna leave your books, man? Alright. What are you? Akio. Nope. Leviosa. Nope. Kapow! <laughs> Nothing came out. Lumos. Alright, I don't know I don't know what that is, but Glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. Couldn't see anything for a second. Levioso. <laughs> Gimme. We're almost level eight. Whoa! Hey, you! Akio, gotcha. I 
And now we're level 8. Hey, can what's up? You? Um, yes, you can actually. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. Um, yo, he's like our rival at this point, so like, yeah, we, we, we can be a little... I seem to have a knack for dueling. Yeah. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Yes. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Yo, I'm from your house, man! Okay. We're gonna learn how to duel a little bit. Break through yellow shields with controlled spells like the levitation spell. Levioso! Target lock, caps lock, lets you track enemies without aiming. Use left and right to change targets while locked. Arrows? No, it can't be arrows, right? I just gotta... Oh, snap. Uh, uh. Levioso! My game is dead. Oh, got him. She slipped that through. My game is struggling. I, I like the free aim, if I'm being honest. Oh! Dang. I can't get down. Gotcha. Oh, she got me with the Levioso. I oh, you did well. You did well. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up, and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second duel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me, and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Okay, that was cool. Win two rounds, so we gotta win another one and complete a round of spell combination practice. So we gotta do the practice round and then, uh... Glad you're back. Yeah, well, I, I didn't go anywhere. Man, use training dummy. Let's use the training Hello, dummy. Lucan. Hi, Yumi. What's up, man? Training dummy. Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? Yeah, right now. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Akio. Good okay. One. So it's a four, it's a five hit combo. Levioso. One, two, three, four. So I can do it the same with either one of those. Levioso. Accio. Excellent four. You can only get four hits when they're in the air. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. That's fair. Okay, so three hits in the air, and if your fourth one's your final one, so if you want to chain it, you got to hit them with a fourth hit. 
I gotta, I gotta win another round. Like, like, let's do a solo, man. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Pow, pow. Let's get it. Round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? No, let's solo it, baby. Let's solo it. I'll be dueling solo. Then let's get to it. Is it a 1v1 or 1v2? 1v2. 1v3? Apologies in advance. Break through violet shields with four spells like Accio. Okay. So you match the colors with the spell. Levioso. Potato. That's all you Accio. Oh. I understand now. Levioso. There goes my wager. Uh oh. Akio. Protego. Act like a winner. Levioso. Oh, claps. Come on. Oh, he's still up. It better not be. Akio. I countered it. Uh oh. Ow! Oh. That's it, right? One more hit. Twitch and flick. I did okay. Um, definitely well, flubbed a couple of them. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance of winning. Or at least surviving the next round. Not wrong. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Um, that was cool though. Assignment's all finished. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. I didn't even... I didn't even do anything with Maddie. I was like, nah, I can do this alone. And then I did it. Track quest. Locate on the map. Uh, let's go here. We'll see if it matters. Uh, it might be just better for us to walk, depending on how long the load times are. It, if it's close, we could just walk to it. I'll tell you what, though. This game is wonderful. Uh, we haven't had anything really bad happen so far. We've had some, like, um freezes um we haven't really seen any drop frames and then obviously the load times are a little little wild but i mean all in all i think it's been a wonderful experience so far nothing game breaking um i haven't even seen any weird glitchy stuff happen even everything's been pretty solid and i love the way that the game interacts with my keyboard that's so cool So we're level 8, I think. It'd be kind of cool, I think, if it had it in the loading screen to let you know. Um, I think I'm level 8, though. Maybe 8.5. And, and we're about to learn another spell. About to learn how to I light up on Mr. fire. I trust Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. Yes, I did, Professor. 
I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Not wearing a robe. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. I've got this. Swish and flick. Swish and flick. Swish and flick. Uh, you have learned enough spells that you'll need to equip Incendio to your spell set. To do this, you need to swap it with a different spell. Um, we don't really use Reparo very often, and, uh, I'd say that's probably the one that we use the least. So, we flop, flip floppity, flop, flop. Uh, we gotta figure out how to unlock more spell sets, though. So, do I get to just, uh... It's Kabow! Oh! My bad. Sorry. That's on cooldown. It. Keep at it, and do try not to incinerate yourself. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Setting calls of rains is certainly not going to Incendio is a heavy damage spell that unleashes a destructive flame at a short range, yeah. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. I see. You can't. You, you got to be close. So like the play would be um, like if they're they're away. Levioso. Levioso, bang, bang, bang. Accio. Bring them in, Incendio. bang. No, we probably set with Incendio. So. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Like so, that would be the combo. Incendio. I was gonna set the other thing on fire, but I I gotta learn how to um, lock targets and then switch between the targets. It said arrows, and that'd be weird if it'd be the arrow keys, which I guess it makes sense because you wouldn't be using your mouse at that point for aiming. You would be just a keyboard warrior, which I, I guess wouldn't be too bad. Is this near uh, Gryffindor? What is that? Accio. Levioso. Incendio. Yeah! Set the place on fire. I don't know what that is. What are you up to now? Uh, nothing. Professor Fig. Nighttime. Gotta wait on him. Always gotta wait on Professor Fig. Ah, there you are. Ah, uh, yeah, I fell asleep here. Sorry, waiting on you. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hackett. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office, five minutes. That man is exasperating. 
Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Well, yeah, done diddly, done did it, sir. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. That's exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking that we might sneak in while uh, Fig's busy with the headmaster. Oh, we got another one of these thingies. Lumos. Hmm. I don't recognize this place. Okay. The archway is going to be the big... The big thing. It's gotta be down. Right? Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. How am I liking it? I'm absolutely loving it. Having an absolute blast with it. Now, this is, this is by one of our classrooms. I would know if it was over here. Oh, I'll take one. Thank you. Some tea. This architecture looks like it. Oh, game, please. Oh, my God. Accio. Oh. That's totally what I'm meant to do. Uh, that one. There's another Lumos. one. A centaur picture? Oh, what the heck? Um I'll deal with that later. We'll come we'll come back to that later. It might be Thinking, I'm thinking where that where that one moth will be. There's that one really defined archway. Oh my game's struggling in this area. That's a side quest. Forty two staircases, and this is where they put me. Wait, who? In trouble, are we? Beat up to no good. Thought as much. Who's talking to me? Oh, you! If Hogwarts survives the reign of this headmaster, I think we should have a moon calf in charge. Revelio. If someone gets struck by a cursed broom, we do hope it's you. <laughs> okay. Um, enough exploring. Let's go back up. Uh, we didn't find what we were looking for right away, so. I do love this area, though. Hey, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go sneak into somewhere. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Um, yeah, we don't have to tell him, man. Like I said, he's our biggest rival. So. I've never even met him. Perhaps True. he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. He might need me. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... 
You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. We must wait for nightfall. And then we will sneak in. I feel like we have just begun to scratch the surface of this game, and I could not be more excited. Oh, yeah. Oh, what is this? This looks sick. I'm here. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. I'm down. All right, we got this. Bada bang, bada boom. And like that, we got another spell. To avoid being detected in off-limit areas. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So it's not as good as a as as, as you know, like a cloak, a full-on cloak. Wait, how do we how do we how do we how do we I don't No, I don't think it's that one. Ah, uh, that wasn't right. We do have oh we have a handle? Oh, oh that's what those are. Uh dude, I need a golden tipped handle. To match my real wand. My real one. Yeah, I don't like those. We're gonna stick with just that for now. Um. Wait, how do I change... Let's put our robe on. Because why not? Um. We got new gloves? I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, neither one of these do anything any different than the others. Um. Huh. How do I access? Oh, I remember. Boom. Just like that. Um. Which one did we learn? This one, right? Uh. We'll probably replace that one, right? Oh, yeah. Look at us. Nearby adversaries with a red... Uh, oh, it's on the mini-map. You can see it down there on the mini-map. Uh, will sense which with a question mark and then investigate with a yellow question mark. Suspicious behavior being caught. Red exclamation point by authority figures will result in quest failure. Ah, uh, well that's not about to happen. Ah, got him. Got him. We just gotta be quick. Um, if I can see you, the prefects might be able to as well. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta spin our. Any, anytime we come across something, we gotta spin it. Doink. Level 9! So we're safe here. This isn't restricted. Here is restricted. You had to do this quest twice? Nah, we, we ain't gonna do it twice. We're gonna get it first try.
use? How do we bait you? Oh! Okay. We might have to use this, actually. This might lure them out. Um, I'm gonna see if we can almost follow this guy in as he goes to the right, and we'll sneak in behind this guy. We'll see if that works. Just like that. Blast. The librarian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. We're sneaky. Damn. Nailed you it. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Okay. You distract. Yeah. I get the key. Understood. Game plan. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Don't you don't you leave me here though. What? Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? Good gracious. Okay, pauses. Pro Professor Black, might I suggest um, a ban on magic in the library? Someone has been sneaking into the restricted section. Seems to think the. I, dude, I saw her move in the background. I went, wait, it's not paused. Sebastian, distract her. Spin everything real quick. to the desk. The key. Here it is. Is there anything else that I need? Uh-oh. Oh. Yoink. Uh, uh, you saw nothing. Bro, you're not hidden at all, man. That wasn't so difficult after all. How to find that book. Yoink. Crimson pattern robe. Yeah, we're all about blue, oh, man. Charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tone by its cover, I say. Okay. Uh, use basic cast while undetected to lure authority figures and enemies to a desired location. Aim grants precision. Uh, yeah, we've already figured that one out. Ghost, don't let her see you. Uh. Hit the armor. Go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Uh oh. Oh. That worked. I can't believe that worked. Oh. She moved rather quickly there.
Let's see if she moves. If she doesn't move, we're gonna figure something out. The other ghost gone? Can we just... Oh, I don't want to hit the book. Okay. We don't have to hit just anything. Or, uh, something specific. Okay, not even close. Should be in the drawer. There's no need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No, we've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know yeah. it when I see it. You'd you're like to know, wouldn't cryptic. you? Oh, what is this? Hold on, back up! Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. Levioso! I still don't know how to interact with these guys. Levioso. I don't know. I haven't quite figured that one out yet. I've seen them around, but... Silent as a grave. You got that right. Levioso. I like to just spin the things. That closed. Ooh. Ooh. Um. This. Nah. Eh, I thought it was going to look better, I'll be honest. Uh, Reparo. We need Reparo, right? Which is this one. Which... We'll switch that out. Reparo. No? Who have we here? Peeves! So Get out of here! It's Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty. You'll get caught. Peeves, don't you... I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. How do I know you won't go to the librarian and blame this all on me? Why would I do that? I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I need spell to repair this armor. Dang Repair. it! Peeves! We gotta be quick. Uh, I have not figured out how to get into the, uh, the eyeball chest yet. I would assume now that I've got the invisibility cloak thing, charm, I could use that. I imagine that's how that works now. Of course, traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. That's it. We're in. Um, you know, I'm going to switch that back. We're gonna be more combat set here. Fairy green sorcerer hat. Okay. 
That's a gold one, actually. Let's take a look at that right now. Uh, headwear. We're not high enough level. We're gonna be level 10 to wear that. Oh, okay. Heck yeah. Well, but we ain't wearing it. Let's just say that. Um, see, this is, this is what I wanted in New World. Man, why was this not in New World already? Um, so we're up eight on that. And then... How's the game's fantastic thus far? I'm loving it. Lead? Well, we're going. Let's see where it goes. You've been missing New World? Yeah. New World didn't have the uh, the, the concept of... um. I, I forget what they're called. The... the um, it's when you're wearing something you've already come across, an item, of a gear of some sort, um, but it gives you the appearance of something else. You know what I mean? Like, you're still wearing whatever gear that you have, the best gear that you have, but the best gear that you have might not always match with everything else. So, sometimes you want to look a certain way, but your setup is a certain way, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the the base the the F feature, the customized feature. Other MMOs have that in RPGs, but New World doesn't. Um, Revelio. Reparo? Do we need that? We might need that. Reparo. Oh, what are, what are you? <sighs> I need to wake up that rune over there. Got it. We figured it out. Not surprising. Guards at the ready. Revelio. Oh, not what I wanted to do. Hold on! Oh! Yo, get clapped on! Are we good? No, there's two more. Incendio. <coughs> oh, ab absolutely flat. Oh! I figured it out too late. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Wrong one. I was waiting for like a bubble prompt or something like that. Uh, your gift of ancient magic accumulates by successfully attacking or taking damage. Uh, successfully 10 plus hit combos will begin generating ancient magic power-ups. Collecting these will greatly fill your ancient magic meter and recover a small amount of health. Okay. Yeah, we just did that on two of those enemies right there. Use one of those. Oh, do we just naturally heal? Well, I just wasted one of those. Yeah, it is what it is. Wakey, wakey. Levioso. Potato. Yeah, you thought. Accio. Incendio. Clapped on, son. Oh, I thought there was more. Akio. Hmm. Revelio. Well, there's nothing to repair there. There is something down here, though. Yo, not cool! Look at me with the combos. Yeah, we, we got those combos down. Listen, that doesn't count as a death, okay? <laughs> ah! 
I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know you could jump in this game. Oh, that's how we get back. Okay. I thought that was gonna, like, keep it up or something. This yeah, we learned that... Forward, but to where? We learned that you could, like, basic attack three times. The fourth time kind of ends your combo. So, you know, up in the air, bang, 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 pull them at you, set them on fire, bang, 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 and then... If they're not dead by then, at least at the level that we are, we're doing something wrong. Wait, why is this one staying? I saw the gap and I went, wait a second. Got it. Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. We're doing great, sweetheart. Oh, a fedora? Let's go. I wear flat hats and fedoras. Oh, Lord have mercy. Did he hit me with that? I don't think he did. He missed. I need a stun. Still didn't do it right. Yeah, Stupify works with the melee. Stupify. Okay, could have handled that a little bit better, but I think we did pretty all right. It is a book after all. Look at us. Nailed it.
You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I have never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. So there's more like us. In the past, we have seen more. Is that why What's-His-Face is after us? Or is willing to come after us, I guess? in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> oh, didn't mean to do that. I, I literally went to crouch and rolled. There is no crouching, I don't think. But we're, can we just freely roam the restricted section now? Oh boy, we're gonna take advantage of this. Um, well, we don't need our combat right now, so nope, nope, that's not what, nope, that's not what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Uh, this here, bada bing, bada boom. Oh, we got a flu flame here. In the restricted section? Oh, we're gonna go on a little bit of an adventure while we're here. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're cooking. Wait, is this? This isn't the rest. Is this the restricted section? I'm looking to see if there's anything here. Revelio. Okay, I just couldn't grab him. Come back! 
Oh my god. He gonna make me chase him all the way over there. No. No. I kill. Gotcha. Revelio. What do we got here? The old librarian. One of the first librarians of Hogwarts is depicted here. Boomer. All right, I think we're done here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, that this was not the restricted section, that this was just a normal library. I was like, man, I'm about to take a, an adventure here. Wait. How did we get into the restricted section? Oh, that's right, the lock right here. Yeah, this is the restricted section. What was that? I don't think I missed anything, but I just want to go back. Is there nobody here? I mean, if there's nobody here, there's no reason to hide, right? Oh, it's locked. Yeah, we kind of cooked through all this. But I don't think that there was anything here. There's something there. Aha! It does work! Yeah, get, uh... Sifted through. Now, how do we... These are some... Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. There's got to be something with these books. I think I think that's everything. Sensitivity's not high enough to keep swiping around like that. All right, back up we go. We go all the way back. Ugh. This game is fantastic. This is everything that it needed to be, and then some. Yeah, these books, man. We gotta we gotta figure out how to interact with those books. Revelio. What the heck is that? Alright, let's get out of here before we get caught. Oh my god, it's daylight already. Hey, <laughs> So you didn't see nothing. <laughs> All right. Professor Fig. I'm gonna learn this map in no time. We don't go up there. We go up over here. I'm learning. Excuse me, pardon me. Out the way. Begin. Again. Homes and tribulations. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It's true. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. 
Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spellcasting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Oh, don't I know already. We we'll learned this one. Poof, and we're gone. And just like that, we're gone. 260 XP? God dang! That's some XP right there, baby. Alright, um... How... How do I... Oh, well, hello there! Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. I didn't open that, by the way. Natty just sent you an owl post requesting to meet her in Lower Hogsfield. Hamlet. Okay. Well, we're not going to do that right now. I think we're going to wrap up for now. Uh, we'll pick up r right here next time. I want to go to our common room. That's where I want to go right now. So. Oh, world map. Oh, my God. Small communities throughout the world. This is the uh, Hamlet, Lower Hogsfield. Uh, Flu Flame, Side Quest, Collectibles. That place is huge. Bandit camps, dungeons, oh my god. Okay. So this is the next one. Required level 3 and level 4. We're level 9. What enemy attacks by dodge rolling? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cross one. Round three. Yes. Spell combination practice two. I mean, we did pretty good with just the one spell practice that we did. I want to look at the map, the world map again, man. Hover over to reveal any hidden icons that might be in the same location. South Hogwarts region. Hogsmeade Valley. North Hogwarts. Uh, Forbidden Forest in North Ford Bog. Oh, there's more! 
Hogwarts Valley, Feldcroft Region, South Sea Bog, Coastal Cavern. Oh my god. Hey, look at look at oh my god. This place is huge. That's awesome. Oh my god, I can't wait. Ravenclaw, yes sir, that's where we're at, baby. Okay. Top of the class scarf. Claimed. 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 We're getting some gear. Claim. We're, and we're getting there on the rest of those. Okay. Inventory. Yep, okay, so those are... Uh, we didn't get to read one of those notes. Because uh, we were uh, time crunched with something. Oh yeah, we, we don't have to clear these. Um, gear. Can we update any of our gear? Headwear. 14 defense, this one's 20. So both of these are at um, level 10, which we're almost level 10. None of these wands... So, for those of you that weren't here earlier, uh, we have a real wand, by the way. Um, and this is, um, like, m like my actual wand. Nobody else can actually use this um, for its intended purpose. Um, so we, we tried to make ours as best we could towards that. Um, but I want like a little golden handle and we don't we haven't had one yet like this Maybe this is like the closest one to it, but I don't know I just I don't like any of the handles that we got so we're keeping it the way that we got it for now uh, We got 1200 gold, which is not a lot but a little bit I've had that wand. I can't even tell you how long I've had that wand It's been forever so over here Trophy room. No, this this one. Set waypoint. It's too close to fast travel. It'll take it. We'll get there faster by walking. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Can do. Can do. I live in North Ford Valley. Yee yee, baby. Built Ford tough, baby. Hey, you can carry the quill. You would think you would use magic to carry the book and not the quill, but whatever. I don't know how you open the door that way, but that was kind of cool. I didn't... I didn't reveal the one, um... The one picture. Where was that at? Where was that moth at? Did I... I don't remember... I remember seeing the moth, but I don't remember collecting it. I want to figure out how to unlock this. Oh, I wanted I want to figure it out so bad We'll figure it out one day Wait, no, we gotta go this way Yeah, we're almost there And we're home, baby. I love the door puzzles. I, I feel like I was on to it earlier, but I didn't want to spend too much time. I wonder if the that girl is here that's lost her marbles. I still don't know what this is for. I'm sure we'll find out in due time. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Okay. 
still won't let us down here? Okay, whatever. Alright, um... Are we up? I don't remember. What Have we been up here? Oh, we haven't. So we haven't even seen everything. Excuse me. Levioso. Accio. I didn't do that right. Wait, how do I... What do I... I'm I'm I don't I don't I don't know how to do this. I don't I don't know how to do this. We're learning. I don't have a push power. I I can't put it in the trash. I'm over it. Get get this thing off me. Get this thing off me. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna leave that there. Anyway, back to exploring. There's a ghost. Oh, chess. I want to play some chess. Can I play chess? Level one lock. Oh, piano. Bro, somebody play the piano. I can do that too. Lumos. Oh, there goes the piano. It's playing now. What is this? It's cornhole. I can't use my camera. We're just going. Level one lock. Oh, I want to look out the tower. You can see all of Hogwarts from here, apparently. Can we look at the window? No. Stupid paper. Oh, you're trying to tell me people have the... They have rooms at the, the highest level? Mine's at, like, five, I think. I think mine's down one floor. When Quidditch and multiplayer gets implemented, we go on pro. I want to play Quidditch so bad. I've already got Quidditch gloves, man. This is our room. Hey, buddy. It's time to prove your dueling medal and see if... We have a new school champion. Meet us at the usual place for the final round of cross wands. Also, the training dummy is still available. Okay, so we can now do the third round whenever, I guess. All right. Dude, this, is, this game is lit. I'm so excited to continue playing more. Unfortunately, tomorrow we will not be playing more. On Monday, we will pick up right where we left off, right here. Um, I'm assuming that's autosave. Is there a way to manually save? I doubt it's in the settings. Oh, it is. Would you look at that? Fourth? Four hour. Four hour. Ravenclaw common room. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Look at all these slots. Oh. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna have multiple characters. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you. 